Hey, uh, coronavirus training day 37. Yeah. All right, so uh, we spent all last week developing counters and uh, defensive counter combinations against a straight punch, uh, building on the balance week uh, before. So this week, we're going to take that and move on to defend and build counters against uh, the roundhouse. So starting simple and building as the week goes. All right, so uh, first round, you're just going to throw a little bit of everything, nice and relaxed. Again, thinking about where your weight is, keeping everything centered. And as you're working, you're going to start to defend against the roundhouse. When you defend, you're going to bring the blocking leg up, not your body down, right? So you're still driving from that post leg. You stand up tall, make a wall, right, with that arm on the outside, and then right back down, whether it's the front or the rear. So you're standing up. You also want to think that you're projecting forward because you don't want to get knocked back on the kick. Yeah, so a little bit of everything, nice and relaxed, right? And you're going to practice just putting those blocks in. Okay, next round, we're going to start to put on a really simple counter, right? So as you're working and defending, you're going to counter your own roundhouse, right? It could be same side, opposite side, doesn't matter, but you're going to counter with the kick, right? Simplest counter, right? Next round, we're going to start to build combination, right? So you're working, you're going to defend, you're going to come with a cross, and then roundhouse of your own, either off the lead, right? or off the rear, it's entirely up to you, okay? Fourth round, you continue to work, putting all your tools together, right? Think about your balance, being able to move, block, defend. Anytime you block, you're gonna come, jab, cross, kick of your own, right? Make sure your weight is centered and underneath you before you throw the punch, no rush, build good habits, yeah? Defend, jab, cross, kick of your own, all right? And then the fifth round, as usual, you take it, play with it, mix it up. Never the same counter twice in a row. So I'm working, I'm putting my tools together. First round, I defend, I'm back with a cross. Yeah, next time, I defend, cross, and a kick. Yeah, moving, defend, jab, kick, cross. And you start to build your own counter combinations. All right? Uh, we also spent the last four weeks doing Flexible Steel's International Four Weeks to Flexible Steel program. I hope everybody got some uh, benefits out of opening up the hips and the shoulders. That's backwards, right? Hips and the shoulders. Uh, this week, we're going to start to build to a program that uh, will actually help with your uh, martial arts conditioning. So today, you're just going to take a baseline of a push-up, but a fist knuckle push-up, right? So you just want to make a fist. Yeah, so you roll those fingers in, make it tight. Straight wrist, and what you're gonna find is this is probably more forgiving on your wrist than a regular push-up, okay? Uh, when I had broken hands, I was actually able to do this sooner than a standard push-up, all right? So you make a tight fist, okay? You put those hands with some purpose, right, into the floor, directly under your shoulders. You step back and plant your feet, and you lock everything down tight. Your elbows are facing back, so as you lower yourself, you should feel I'm kind of scraping your ribs. Yeah, chest touches and explosively up. Lower yourself and explosively up. I want you to do as many as you can until your form starts to deteriorate. So if you start to sag, uh, elbows flare out, not coming up fast, move back one. That's really the number you did. Take a good long rest, do it again. Three sets of that and then we'll build on that tomorrow. All right, everybody stay safe, miss everybody.